We begin tonight with upgrades to streetlights across Corpus Christi. The project a result of a partnership between the city and AEP Texas. It's now in the last phase determining which lights are left to replace. Our Brandon Schaff joins us to explain how the project will finish. Brandon. Hey, good evening, Brian. This is a fast moving project since it began last September. About 15,000 streetlights have been replaced from Cal Allen to Padre Island. All that's left now is finding out which ones were missed and what the city plans to do next. Now we're in the last phase of the project, which is called cleanup. So we go and determine what lights aren't accounted for. The third and final phase began in June this year and is scheduled to end in March 2024. The $2.1 million project funds streetlight replacements across Corpus Christi. What was once a high pressure sodium light bulb is now LED. About 300 lights were missed in one of the zones AEP Texas worked in, which Director of Communications Omar Lopez said can happen when there's a mass change like this. Sometimes we miss those lights because maybe the pole wasn't owned by AEP Texas, so it's not on our inventory. He said that can also happen since they don't own all street lights or security poles in the city. When the project is complete next year, Lopez said AEP Texas will look at the total number of lights and make sure they were all replaced. He said about 1.9% of the lights in the project are currently unaccounted for. As for the ones that were installed, he said you should see the change already. Look at the lights in the dark. Go outside. You'll really see a difference uh, in the lights. You'll see that the area is brighter. While AEP Texas installed the LED lights, the city provided funding. The project is estimated to bring $672,000 in energy savings annually. City Manager Peter Zanoni said that will save taxpayers money with brighter and longer lasting streetlights. To light up the streets at night, which is real important, uh, not only for uh, driving vehicles or walking, uh, but for safety and security in our neighborhoods. With the project nearly complete, Zanoni said the city's next focus is a lighting study. As the next phase after the LED replacements, it will determine a strategy for what areas need new streetlights. He said any money left over after the study will be used to place the lights, if approved in the city's 2024 proposed annual budget. Uh, in this budget, we recommended a million dollars to uh, do a study to see where the gaps are, uh, to see where do we need additional lights. And Zanoni says that some areas that need some more of these street lights are Flower Bluff Drive and some industrial parts of the city. And AEP Texas also says that the light replacements are happening as they install a new network across the state for them to electronically track their inventory. Now, once that's introduced in Corpus Christi, Lopez says that it could help AEP Texas address a light that's about to go out before it even does. Brian, back to you.